Anthony, a big win for your team snapping this four game skid. You were a big part of that, shutting the door in that final frame. What was the mentality you had to embody down the stretch between the pipes? Uh, yeah, just kind of go out there and uh, try to try to see every shot and uh, just try to stop it. I mean, uh, they're a big physical team and they uh, get a lot of traffic in front. And uh, I thought the defenseman did a great job, especially in that third period. Let me see that shot. And it was just up to me to kind of handle the rebound. It was a total team effort. What impressed you most with how your teammates played in front of you? Uh, I was just saying our resiliency in the uh, offensive and defensive zone. I mean, uh, we were coming back, reloading really hard. We had great sticks tonight. Guys were uh, kind of kind of on it. Every detail was, uh, you know, really sharp. And, I mean, obviously we're on a four-game skid, but at the same time we were uh, we felt like we were playing well. And, you know, the bounces just kind of weren't going our way. But uh, it definitely feels good to get this one tonight. You get this win in front of your dads. Your dad, John, in attendance. Ryan Lomberg had a, a good quote. He said if you and your teammates didn't play hard the dads may be chirping you after that one uh, how much did their presence fuel you and your teammates in this win yeah it's kind of uh, you know a breath of fresh air kind of lightens the mood a little bit you know some of the dads are uh, you know joking around and whatnot so uh, it's, it's really special to to uh, share share an experience like this I mean they've been a part of our lives uh, you know and are important important reason why we uh, we got to where we are and uh, just to be able to uh, experience this with them uh, was super special speaking of the experience have you had a favorite part of the dad's pr dad's trip? Uh, probably just going to dinner last night, kind of talking to all the dads and uh, just getting to know them a little bit. Um, this is my dad's first uh, first trip. My brother came last year, so, uh, you know, I just kind of wanted him to soak it all in and uh, just try to take it in and uh, just enjoy himself. Awesome. Anthony, thank you for the time. Yep, thank you very much. Nervous. Yeah. Not frustrated because we do that a lot. We come out hot. Um, but you're aware of of what uh, Soros can do, and he can he could run 60 saves if he had to to get a win. So um, we're probably still we're we're just over the halfway mark. We spend most of our time still talking about process and are we doing the right things and not worrying about how many goals are sneaking by or not. So we liked our game tonight for a road game. It was pretty good. What do you think was the biggest key to pushing past Soros tonight? You guys came out. Well, I, th I thought I thought we. Um, we had shots in the first period, but we didn't have anywhere near enough traffic. Um, we had good zone time, good possession, and, and, and a good volume, but we didn't have enough traffic. So I thought when we got to a little quicker traffic, we, we were better. You look ahead to host Arizona on Wednesday. They're in a similar position as Minnesota, fighting for a wild yeah. spot. What is the mentality going into that game, keeping all of this confidence? Yeah, so we, we've talked about that. So we had, uh, we got Minnesota, these guys, Arizona, Pittsburgh, and um, the island to finish. They're all the exact same team. They're exactly exactly where we were last year, scratching and clawing. So you got to have your best. And and it's a good thing for us to be going through right now. We've got some injuries, certainly got some illness and some sickness. Uh, the other team has the emotional advantage on us coming into all these games, and then we got to figure out a way to win them. Well, they score in all kinds of different ways now, right? Just jumping on a loose puck on the faceoff, gets it back across his body. He's just... He's been so good to us. And then I understand why we would talk about his goals, but the defensive part of his game is so good, right? He's playing with two younger players on that line, and they become really good and really strong defensively. He's a penalty killer. He's a face-off man. He does it all. Too bad he has that horrible attitude. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a, a hard-fought game right to the end, and um, you know, our team did a great job of, of battling right to the end. We had some huge kills at the end there, and um, Stoli bailed us out a couple times. So, um, yeah, that was a, a big gutsy effort for, from our group. You mentioned your goaltender Anthony Stolarz. How much of a stabilizing factor was he, especially with those big saves in that final? Round? Yeah, he was huge. He. he uh, he made some unbelievable saves, so that gave us life and, and kept us in the game. So, um, you know, that's all you can ask from your goalie. And, um, you know, it's uh, it, it was fun to, to watch him fla flash some leather tonight. It seems like you and your teammates really got back to, to playing your game. What stood out to you in that regard in this one? Yeah, I think, you know, we're missing two big pieces with, with Barkov and, and Forsling out. So, um, you know, we knew it was going to be be a hard grind game and um, you know guys were stepping up playing bigger roles and bigger minutes and um, you know that's all you can ask from you guys. To get this one in front of the dads, your dad is here on this trip, what does that mean? Yeah it's awesome, you know we had a, a great dinner last night, it was uh, you know it was so so fun 
getting to spend that time with your dad. I know my dad looks forward to this this week every year. So, um, you know, it's pretty special that, that the Florida Panthers will do that and, and bring out our dads. And um, it's always nice to get a win in front of them as well. We have plenty of praise for the offense tonight, but what do you have to say about the show the defense put on? Yeah, it was, um, you know, it was great. Um, we we knew it was going to be a tight game, so um, we knew we were going to have to r rely on our defense. And, um, you know, it, it came down right to the end. They, they had the extra attacking on there, and, and guys were, were selling out. So, um, you know, that's, that's, that's all you can ask for. Thanks, Thanks guys. Yeah, they uh, came out hard, and they made a push, and uh, we got we got a nice goal uh, almost the mid, mid midway through, and uh, Stoli came up huge. He made a couple of big saves, and, I mean, uh, yeah, it was awesome to get the win, for sure. Your goal in that third period, putting your team on top, just uh, to get that goal with your dad in the stands on this dad trip, what is the significance of that for you? Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, uh, it's awesome having my dad and all the other dads getting to know uh, – kind of where everyone kind of came from and all the different personalities. And I think uh, to get to get this on the dad's trip uh, is a little extra special for sure. You snap a four-game skid. What was different about this game that allowed you guys to have the win the way you did? Yeah, I think uh, we had a good first period. We came ready to play, and I think uh, we kind of carry, carried that throughout. Uh, we got a big power play goal, and... I mean, uh, we knew it was going to be a tough one. Uh, they're a good team, and I mean, coming in here on the road, uh, we want it to be a kind of grindy win, and this is kind of what we got. Anthony Stolar is making some key critical saves down the stretch. How infectious is that when he is playing the way he is? Yeah, I mean, he made some awesome saves. There was a couple of times where uh, we left the guy alone in front, and uh, he came up huge, and uh, yeah, it's awesome, especially with his dad being here too, uh, making some awesome saves coming up big. So.